Previously on Alan Wake, I came to Bright Falls with my wife, Alice. Thank you for coming here with me. I thought maybe you could write here. I don't want to hear it. God damn it, Alice. Now, she's missing. Alice? <laughs> Alice? I woke up behind the wheel of a crashed car. I'm missing a week. I was attacked by shadowy men straight from a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at. But the cabin had disappeared. Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake again. I'm Burning Dog Face. And oh boy. Oh, he's clean shaven. Honey, I'm home. Back here, sweetie. How was it? Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. There's our coats from the vacation. Huh. Okay, first things first, real quick. Uh, three years ago, in a happier time, Wake returns home in New York after running errands. Okay, yes, yes, yes. Um, uh, first things first, I mentioned a while back that there was a, a map of Bright Falls that I said had a spoiler on it that I could not talk about yet. So let's talk about that. Okay, here's a nice clear image of the map of Bright Falls. And if you direct your attention right here, you will see that Cauldron Lake does not have an island in the middle of it. Oh ho. So hey, that's a very interesting tidbit to hide right in front of me. I certainly didn't catch that the first time, I'll tell you that. Uh, also, hey, who here knew that we were playing a TV show and not a video game? Because yes, it does that, previously on Alan Wake, and I really enjoyed... Uh, back in the day, trying to make sure the front, the top of the video lined up with one of those sequences. <laughs> uh, I feel that I should mention, uh, by the way, that this mini interlude we're in here in New York is, I didn't know this at the time, but it's full of references to Max Payne. Uh, starting with... Well, I don't know. I mean, New York is where Max Payne was set, for starters, I guess. Turn on the coffee maker. What does that say? The Parliament Management Team. I can't quite read that. I'll take a screenshot of that to see if I can blow it up later. Just a crazy snowstorm, just like it was in Max Payne 1. Huh, why isn't the TV out of the box? That's weird. Coffee's on. Great, thanks. I'll need it if I'm gonna finish this by tomorrow. You know, Alan, normally you have to do some stuff before we'll actually make coffee. I guess it could have been set up in advance. I do that sometimes. Huh. You know, given that this game is uh, was originally an Xbox 360 exclu exclusive, I'm very surprised there isn't one amongst those machines. Oh, hey, I just finished those cover mock-ups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh, really? Well, you seemed to think so last night. Ooh. Ooh. Things were happier before the writer's block. Jesus. I do question how a thermos in the Oh Dear Diner is here. Like, really, I really have to wonder about that. So, yes, uh, Alice is a photographer. She's not just, you know, Alan's wife. She has more of an identity than that. This is some great, you know, uh, shots for the, like, the, 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 the dust cover, the picture of the author. Photo credit to A. Wake. Well, I guess I would say her full name, because that would just be confusing in that situation. Since they're both A. Wake! What?! Why are there... hmm... 
Return to Sender, an Alex Casey thriller. What I Can't Forget, an Alex Casey thriller. Alex Casey, an Alex Casey thriller. The Things That I Want, an Alex Casey thriller. And The Fall of Casey, an Alex Casey thriller. So yes, uh, I mentioned the name in passing by mistake without elaborating on it. Uh, Alan's books were about a New York detective named uh, Alex Casey, who is, by the way, Matt X. Payne. <laughs> it's very clear that, oh yeah, he wrote a hard-boiled thing about a detective. He spends a lot of time shooting. and Yeah, yeah, this is very clearly uh, the, the company doing a reference to their previous game. I'm going to try that scanny thing again, see what this does. Oh, oh, there we go. And it's another YouTube video. Bear with me, folks. Okay. It was a video about Alan brooding ominously over his uh, creative process. Interesting. But yes, we're here to look at these... No, not the manuscript page. At these uh, cover mock-ups. These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which, by the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> oh no. Alan! Alan, please check the fuse box. I can do that. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry. Well, this will freeze time, so we have time for this. The sudden stop one and two. It's true what they say about the fall and the sudden stop at the end. I'd lain here in the snow while the lurid chain of scenes that had led me here kept playing in my head. A rerun of my own private snuff movie. A memory of my corpse. Alone at my own wake. Thinking in metaphors again. The femme fatale was gone. Only a sour taste remained of the kiss that killed me. Yeah, that's about right. Uh, the noir tone. So that voice actor, I think these are the only pages in the entire game that are not read out by Alan. And the voice actor reading them is, uh, one James McCaffrey. Who, of course, provided the voice of Max Payne. <laughs> and, uh, because uh, Remedy likes working with him, uh, if you watch my control, that's why you probably recognized his voice as also being the voice of, uh, FBC director Zachariah Trench. <laughs> the kiss that killed me. This was a late goodbye. Thirteen years after I'd gotten my revenge, it had finally caught up with me. It had been a long time to bear the pain. Hmm. My blood painted the snow red, a gruesome slushy, dissolved all the scattered painkillers and leisurely dripped down to the sewer mingling with the bile of the city, becoming one with it. I can see them now, my wife and my baby. Honey, I'm home. Uh, after... They did Max Payne 2. Remedy sold the rights for Max Payne, the franchise, to Rockstar Games. Yeah, they were the ones who did Max Payne 3. And uh, this here, as I understand it, is meant to be Remedy's ending to Max Payne. That at some point after uh, Max Payne 2, he went on one last you know, rip-roaring adventure, I guess saved the day again, and it cost him his life. Max Payne bled out in the snow, being reunited with his wife and child. I can't think of any more appropriate way for a noir protagonist to go out. Rest in peace, Max. I'm right here, baby. I'm fine, I'm fine. Just get the lights back on. Now, please. It's kind of weird that this doesn't have a cover, yes? Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. I can't focus this beam. Huh. Weird. It's almost like normal people can't do that. Look, light, there light right here. How's Hi. it going? You okay? Oh, right not in the face. I'm sorry. I just... 
It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. I know it's stupid, but it's just... Especially when I'm not prepared for it, you know? It gets to me. I love you. Tell me a story, Ryder. Okay. <clears throat> I used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me, too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you, too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you, even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. Why would he have a light switch if it wasn't true? Huh. Did I skip a thing there? I remember some bits. They did. Hmm. How do you feel, Mr. Wake? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wake, how are you feeling? I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Hmm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Doc Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. I'm gonna try something. Uh, oh. Uh, wait. Episodes normal. Oh, yes, the signal and the writer are the two DLC chapters. I'll be playing those when we're done. Fuck! Okay, that sucks. There was a bit I was really looking forward to actually getting this time. Yeah, there were there were two interludes there that didn't get put in. I don't understand. Well, one of them was a live-action video of, uh... Well, fucking Sam Lake was there, for starters. And it's Alan appearing on a talk show talking about his newest book and how he, uh... Yeah, like, that's why I was so confused to see the TV in a box. You could watch a thing in the original game. I guess they, you know, they couldn't get the original people to, you know, do an HD version of that video clip. And that sucks. Yeah, but, um... It's like, why did you decide to kill off Alex Casey? P.S. Spoilers, everybody. Like, I don't think he said it that way. It's like, you know, hey, plug your ears if you hate spoilers, but why did you kill off Alex Casey? He was your bread and butter. And he's like, I don't know. I'm just tired of noir. I'm going to try something new. Uh, I don't know. Maybe a horror story next. Well, I can't wait to read it. I bet it'll be spine tingling and, you know, the usual bullshit like that. Uh, you know, there's a ga quick gag at the end. It's like, okay, one more time, Mr. Lake, do the face. And it's uh, Sam Lake doing the, like, constipated expression that Max Payne had in the original game. The other thing that I really wanted to show was, uh... Oh yeah, yeah! Th there was a bit that in the original game, in that sequence, where Alice says, Oh, I've got a headache, honey. Can you get me some painkillers? So you go to the bathroom, you open the fucking mirror, and there's a cabinet inside with a bottle of painkillers inside. And then you pick it up, it's the same sound effect as when uh, Max Payne picks up the, the, the health kit painkillers in Max Payne. I was looking forward to this time to see if I could actually recognize it. That's that's a shame. That's actually something I feel was better in the original. Just watching yourself on TV. And it's like, man, I looked good in that interview. He looked so relaxed and so, like, at ease. Here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. 
I'll let you get on with it then. Oh. Sarah, uh, Sheriff <laughs> That's Brady why he's dressed like that. <laughs> She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Doc Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. That is a very old computer. Even by 2010 standards, this is ridiculous. Oh, look, it's much brighter lit in here. I believe you'll find the sheriff in her office. Oh, sorry. Uh, just go down the corridor. I'm sorry you had to cut your morning fishing short for this, Doc. Oh, she's a beauty, ain't she? Not the biggest I ever caught, if you can believe that coming from an old fisherman like me. But she's right up there. Now, she's a largemouth bass, which is what you're after if you prefer a lure. Now, if you want either trout or salmon, on the other hand, then it's fly fishing for you. Mm -hmm. Um, you a fishing man, Mr. Wake? Oh, doesn't really matter, I suppose. But it can be very relaxing out there. You can't get me off the water this time of year. Closest thing to heaven. I'll take your word for it, Doc. That phone isn't plugged into anything. Why does the sheriff's station have an old-timey blackboard? It's like the, the folding panels and everything. You're good to go, Mr. Wake. Sarah's probably waiting for a chance to talk to you. Oh yeah, proper lifting technique. I'm over here! Oh. Have you seen this man? Oh god. I'll be sure to take care of it, Miss Weaver. Have a nice day now. Very good. I'll come back later on to remind you, just in case. I understand that this game has also got a bunch of homages to the TV show Twin Peaks in it. I've never seen it, but I'm about 80% sure that woman is a reference to a character I have heard of called the Log Lady. Oh! Come in, Mr. Wake. Your phone's on the desk. The battery was dead. It's charged now. Have you started looking for my wife yet? My men are already on it. Now, can you tell me what happened? I'm not sure. I can't remember. We were arguing. I walked out of the cabin. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me. I need to take this. Hello? Alan, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see your wife. Who is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're going to meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Lover's Peak. Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. We're watching you. Okay, uh... The logical thing to do would be to go out there right now and wait for it to get dark, rather than wandering through the woods in the dark. I need some fresh air. Can I go out in the back, maybe? Of course, Mr. Wake. I understand. You can get there through the cells. Deputy Grant can show you the way. I'm sorry. All of this, it's just a lot to take in. Take your time, Mr. Wake. I understand. Can I ask you what the call was oh, about, I'm... Mr. Wake? It's personal. Well, we are looking for your wife, and I'm going to need your cooperation if I'm going to help you. I need a moment, after I get some fresh air. Okay, you can find me here. We'll talk when you feel up to it. Is that a manuscript page? It is! It's flashing! Out in the yard there, I mean. Alright, I should leave. having a bad day. Oh, yes, and uh, disappeared on 62007. Identifying feature next for winning contests. I wonder if that guy like actually won a contest to get his face in the game or something. Mr. Wade, can I help you with anything? I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. 
Of course, Mr. Wake, you can get there through the cell corridor. Just don't mind Walter in there. He's one of our regulars. I thought he quit drinking for good. Oh, no such luck. He went on a bender and beat Danny pretty badly. He started shouting like that the moment he woke up. I don't like the sheer number of... Oh, it's a missing cat. Okay. You can get to the back lot through that door and down the corridor. Oh, I couldn't go anywhere yet. I had to play along with the caller. Alice's life was at stake. Right. That's actually a very good point. Ooh, better get this. Alice sees a shadow. Alice looked through the viewfinder, lining up the shot. Cauldron Lake was breathtaking. Something caught her eye. A figure standing in the shadows behind the cabin, like a thin woman in a black dress. She lowered the camera and looked again. No one there. Just a collection of bushes that looked vaguely human-shaped. She shook her head and laughed. Anybody out there? So now we have confirmation that the widow is stalking both of us. Yeah, it's uh, Mulligan here. I'm at Stucky's gas station with Thornton. There's no sign of him. Or... Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this is Thornton. Look, we've located the brake float. It's here. That's some good news, right? Stucky was supposed to be driving Jesus. it at the rehearsal today. Over. Oh, give me that. Mulligan here. Looks like someone really thrashed the garage. Over. Okay, roger that, guys. Keep looking for Stucky. Jane's out. Yeah, I kind of killed a guy last night, but I don't think he was going to get better. Hey! Hey, you! Can you help me? Can you turn the lights on? Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey, you're all right. You're a good guy. Don't let anybody tell you different. Thank you. You know, I shouldn't even be in here. The cops, they got it all wrong. I just step out of vomiting range. Sure, sure, sure. I beat him up, but I wasn't drunk. I mean, I wasn't drunk at the time. I only got drunk afterward. Okay, listen. Listen, listen. You gotta listen carefully now. Here's the kicker. That wasn't Danny. No, no God. sir. They only looked like him. You wanna know who it really was? I tell you who it really was. It was a goddamn space alien! I know it sounded like something that a drunk would say, but believe me, I wasn't drunk then. Oh boy. Oh, oh, you uh, can't tie so that. And we will finish... Oh, yes, I have to find a checkpoint, don't I? The Dark Presence in the Diner, then. In spite of its human mask, to describe the Dark Presence as intelligent would have implied human qualities on something decidedly inhuman. Nonetheless, it found the one spot in the diner that was dark enough. Some light spilled into the corridor, ravaging it. But it took the pain. Horrible as it was, the writer would soon fix that. He would be coming to the one place where it still had power. Oh, boy! I love that, the Dark Presence. Capital D, capital P. Where are your feet? I don't know. That would be better than just calling her the Widow all the time, anyway. The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. Uh, okay, where is... Where are the windows? I need to find Breaker's office so I can be sure I... Uh, no. Breaker's office is... The caller had told there. me to find a there it hole is. in the fence behind the police station. There was something for me in an abandoned car. Oh, God. Delays. Well, folks, it's been another long night, and uh, it's about time for me to sign off for a while. God knows I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> uh, just 
One more item before I go. It's been a busy night for the sheriff's department. We've had a few broken windows, even a report of shots fired on Main Street. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton had to deal with two intoxicated young men who were celebrating the completion of their deer fest float. Now, folks, we get this every year. I know it's exciting that the big day's almost here, but let's save it for the party and leave the gunplay for the shooting competition, huh? There's no point in getting all worked up yet. This does seem to suggest that the Taken are just wreaking havoc everywhere when uh, the sun goes down. As opposed to only hunting me. And I'm not sure which of those is worse, since I might be the only person who can do the flashlight thing. Even though we don't even know why. Oh, I see. Hmm. Judo kick! First. Wake at Lover's Peak. The kidnapper fired his gun one last time, and the shadow vanished into the darkness it had come from. See? Nothing to it, Wake. The thought of Alice in his hands was revolting. We stood on the wooden platform of Lover's Peak, the waterfall on the mountain behind us, the lights of the radio mast blinking red in the heights above. I fought with the urge to take a swing, force myself to speak. Let's cut the act now. Where's my wife? Hopefully this will be a uh, checkpoint. Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week, you and Alice. Oh, I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. Ow! What the hell is going on? I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. Well, of course, I don't have a fucking gun. Shame, I guess it is functional. But we did get a checkpoint just now, so I'm going to call it. Hua! Oh, it worked. I'm Burning Dog Face. And I'll see you on the next episode of Let's Play Alan Wake again. This mystery is only deepening with every page we find and every step we take. Hopefully we can get to the bottom of it before... Before things start getting really bad. Stay in the light.